Welcome to Program Knowledge. Today I'm going to talk about zero part and zero monitor on Arduino. In the previous videos, we have already know how to write the program to control LED. Now, besides just blinking, it would be nice to provide some information directly to the user by display on computer screen. We can do this by working with the zero port and the zero monitor. Okay, first we we'll talk about zero port. That's the an asynchronous part on the computer transmit or receive data one bit at a time. It's one of the oldest types of interfaces was commonly used to connect printers and external modem to a PC. Uh, the zero port standard is RS232. It's quite slow because it's just transfer data one bit at a time. Quite slow. But nowadays, almost devices use USB to transfer data because it's faster than uh, RS232. And we are also have a USB port on Arduino, and that's a uh, Type P board, which were supplying voltage and uploading code. So the data will transfer by this uh, port to the computer. Okay. Next, about the zero monitor, as I introduced, uh, we have a button on the top right corner of Arduino IDEA. That's a zero monitor. And someone called it is terminal, so I also call it a terminal in this video. The terminal is a separate pop-up window that acts as a separate terminal that communicates by receiving and sending zero data. Data can be sent in both directions. Uh, it means uh, you can transfer or receive data at the same time. Because the terminal is using UART protocol to transfer data between the mm, computer and Arduino, and UART is a full duplex protocol. You can uh, uh, search on Google what a UART and what a uh, full duplex protocol. UART is a universal asynchronous receiver transmitter. The serial monitor is very useful. It's not only display for fun, but we also use to debug. Okay, uh, as you know, in embedded system, we can use breakpoint to run step by step as the other software on some idea. But uh, with the I don't know, uh, we can do it. We can debug a step by step, and we can do the other way: is check by let. Example, if you want to check a line of code whether run or not, you will call a function turn let on above it. And if your let is on after run your program, that means your code is executed. Okay, do you understand? Uh, you will put a function will turn let on uh, above your code you want to check. And then you uh, run the program if your let is on. That means your code is executed. Okay, those are some ways to debug. But with I don't know, or the best way to debug is print out some string to terminal. Okay, we will use this terminal to print some information to check uh, uh, the code is executed or not. Okay, now I will make an example on Blink project. Okay, we'll open a new project and then uh, open a Blink project in the assemble session here. Okay, we'll clear some command for easily see. This is a zero monitor button and we'll try to click on it. Okay, there's a mirror. Oh, why? Do you know why? Because I cannot open the zero monitor if I don't connect my Arduino to the computer. So, if you want to open the terminal, you have to connect the Arduino to computer first. Then you can open the zero monitor. Okay, we will connect it to the computer. Connect my Arduino. Okay, I have just connected. Then you open it. Okay, this is the terminal windows. You can see it. Okay, now just let it there. So now I will uh, uh, set up some function to uh, open the serial port on Arduino and 
uh, set up to send some information via zero monitor. And in plain project, I also use let booting also is let 13 for easy because I don't want to uh, uh, connect uh, let to the circuit. I want to use let on the Arduino board for for convenient. So first, to turn on the serial part, uh, we will use this function serial dot begin nine six zero zero. Okay, this line of code tells the Arduino to turn the serial port on. So remember, put this line if you want to use the serial port zero dot begin and this is a number so the nine six zero zero tells the Arduino to communicate at nine nine thousand and six hundred bout this bout is the speed rate of UR protocol and you can change it to the other but there are some default values such as um, nine six zero zero uh, two four zero zero four eight zero zero one one five two zero zero etc I will show you uh, in the ter in the terminal later and uh, why we have this number because if you put the higher number you can have a faster speed of data transmit okay the higher rate the uh, the higher bow rate the faster speed of data transmit and the important thing is you need to make sure your Arduino and your terminal is set to the same bound. Okay, in this project, I will use 900, uh, 9600. Because in the terminal, right here, in the terminal, I also use, uh, here, six, uh, 9600. And this is some uh, barray you can change for faster or slower okay i will set uh, the the same bound between uh, terminal and in code so uh, we only need run this function once so i will put it in the setup function i don't uh, set up in the loop function okay remember that i will come in for you remember mm. okay Next, uh, to bring out something on the terminal, uh, we will use this function zero dot print bracket. Uh, in this bracket, uh, you can use quotes to print a string or with a variable. You don't need to uh, mm, type a quotes right here. Okay, in a string, uh, I will put a string. Um, Hello, this is my plain project uh, my led my led will be turned on after three two one okay let's check verify And then upload to the Arduino here. Okay, I will open the terminal window for you see. Okay, the terminal will put hello, this is my blink project. My leg will be turned on after three, two, one. Okay, and then your Arduino is blinking, but it's fast, so you can see what uh, what happens. So I will uh, make it slower for you, easy to see. Okay, here I will uh, put a delay here. Serial dot print three two one. Okay, and between them I will put a delay for easy C's delay and delay and here delay okay this is the old string so now i will uh, upload the new code 
and see what happened. Hello, three, two, one, and then my LED is blinking. Okay, you see. Okay, that's a uh, print, and I will make an sample if you want to change the different bar rate. I will set the bar rate on terminal E one one five zero two uh, two zero zero here. Of oh, you can see anything, but your string still print out. But you can see anything right here. Okay, uh, I can. I will change it to here. Oh, you see, uh, you cannot understand what are those symbols, right? That is some spec special characters. That is the reason why we have to set the same bar rate between two devices. Okay. All right now, uh, in nine six zero zero. Okay, you see, it will be display display on just one line. So, if you want to, the code is beautiful. What I have to do? So, this is a way to do that. Okay, let's check. I will put a character is new line right here. Print. Okay, and copy it to here. Copy to here. Okay, I will run again. Three, two, one. Okay, that is beautiful now. So, but this way maybe not good with for developer and it's quite consume memory. Instead of you can change it by this function. This is the best way for if you want to make a card beautiful and shorter by put the L N. It means the line new you will uh, uh you will create a new line each time the Arnold bring the string out. Okay, I right here and you can uh, delete this line. Okay, run. You see the magic. Yeah, the card is very clearly right. Okay, uh, now I will make an assemble with a variable, and we will set up a local, uh, a global variable right here, and we will uh, uh, put name is, uh, integer and name is count on. And as I it is zero, and I also have a count of zero here. Uh, okay, this mean uh, 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 after I turn on or turn off LED, I will increase this variable by one, and then print out to the terminal or uh, what. How many time I turn on and how many time I turn off LED? Okay. Uh, I will put a function zero dot print uh, uh LED LED on and then zero dot print count on plus plus. Okay, uh, with the let off, I also do like that. Let off and let off. Okay, spy for easy, see clearly, upload and see the result. On zero, up zero, on one. Off one. Sorry, I forgot to. Here. Okay, let's check in. On 
one, one, two, two. Okay, that's a uh, it's loop forever. Okay, it will count uh, each time the let on and each time the let up. Okay, I will make an example about the bug code to know uh, if you got it run or not. Okay, we'll delete it for easy. Delete it. This too. Okay, now I have a loop for in i is zero to twelve. I have a loop increase from zero to twelve, and we'll check it if uh the the eyes if the eyes is uh is even i will i will turn on the led right okay if i don't have uh, if we don't have the terminal we usually use this way, but now I have a terminal. Uh, I use uh, this way and bring the terminal for a uh, user now to check uh, to check if your code is running. We zero uh, print this e event event. And I will bring the index in this e art art. Okay, let's check. Oh, I forgot here. If your I is even, it will uh, your program will run into the if condition. But if that is the odd number, it will uh, run into the else if function. Okay, as you see. Okay, that has some things about server port on Arduino. You can bring anything you want to the terminal, or you can debug, or you can check by the terminal okay uh, there are many functions about this topic but um, uh, I can uh, list out here you can soak up on Google